good evening in our video class today uh, we're looking at the topic measurement in physics there are three important quantities that are measured which are length time mass this length time and mass so we're gonna take this one after the other now measurement of length how do we measure length so now um, the following instrument are used to measure length. The first one is the meter rule. The second one is the vernier caliper. While the third one is the micrometer screw gauge. So now we're taking the first one measurement using the meter rule. The meter rule can be used to measure objects that are straight e.g. table, board, chair, book, field, clothes, and so on. So we use metal rule to measure those objects that are straight. And quite importantly, we need to know um, the smallest graduation when using a metal rule and also the precision accuracy. Now, um, for metal rule, the smallest graduation in a metal rule is one millimeter in terms of millimeter and then precision accuracy is half of one millimeter which is 0 0.5 millimeter okay so precision accuracy is also known as the least possible error which can be encountered in an instrument that has to do with the measurement of length so now um so the least possible error is plus or minus 0 0.5 millimeter for metal roll now next is the measurement using banner caliper now we need to know that it is used for measuring objects that are not straight okay for measuring those objects that are not straight that should be yeah Okay, for many of the objects that are not straight and which a metal rule will not be able to measure conveniently. E.g., if you want to measure the diameter of a beaker, you can't use um, a metal rule, rather what you use is vernier caliper. Diameter of a test tube, you use vernier caliper. And diameter of small circular objects, you use a vernier caliper to measure that now in the same way we need to know the smallest graduation in a vernier caliper and its precision accuracy now uh, the instrument vernier caliper the smallest graduation is 0 0.1 millimeter and the precision accuracy is 0 0.05 millimeter okay that is what we use when we measure using vernier caliper it has a smallest graduation of 0 0.1 millimeter and the precision accuracy which is half the smallest graduation which is 0 0.05 millimeter so we are made to know that vernier caliper has two scales which are the main scale and also the vernier scale okay so on paper this is the diagram of a vernier caliper on paper so the first rectangular sh um, shape here signifies the main scale why the vernier scale is the uh, one below the rectangular below the main screen so now we have given an example to practice with so now we ask what is the reading on the instrument below so what is the reading on the instrument below so now um this is the main scale this is the vernier scale now let's listen to this very well so we know how to measure now we start our measurement from the main scale which is 2 2.1 2.2 2, 2, 3 4 now this is how we read so you start with the main scale so whenever you reach the boundary of the vernier scale you stop your reading on the main scale and you enter the vernier scale so now for this we have two this is 2.1 this is 2.2 so you have encountered the vernier scale so you have to stop so now you have you are going to measure on the main scale ms is main scale 
So what which reading do you have on the main scale, which is 2.2? How? 2.1, 2.2. So you have encountered a venial scale, so you have to stop. You have to stop. You don't read continue. So you have to stop here. Why? Because you have encountered the venial scale. So then you enter the venial scale. So you're going to stop where the reading on the main scale and the venial scale meet or cases. So now you have 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 0.07. So that is where the two readings on the main scale and the venial scale cases. So which is 0 0.07. And you have to add the two together, 2.2 .2 plus 0 0.07. So that gives 2.27 millimeter on this um, vernier caliper reading. And also, <clears throat> we have um, the second example where we have uh, the diagram, the main scale and the vernier scale. You have to be careful. So it started with six, but there are some figures before six. Okay, if this is this, definitely this should be. 5.9, 5.8, 5.7, 5.6. So we have 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9. On the main scale, you have 5.9. So you're going to stop here. So you read main scale, 5.9. And when you enter the uh, banner scale, so you're going to read in zeros. So 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04. 0 0.05 you can see that is where the readings on the main and the vernier scale kisses so that's where they meet the 0 0.05 so you write down your 0 0.05 and you add the two together and you have your reading so the reading on this vernier scaliper is 5.95 millimeter okay so that is how we read on the now, uh, vernier caliper. However, now the third instrument which we use for measuring uh, length is the micrometer screw gauge. So now, what do we use? Micrometer screw gauge for what do we use it to measure? So micrometer screw gauge can be used to measure uh, thickness, thickness of paper, also thickness of wire. Okay. I have to be careful now, not the length of wire, but rather thickness of our wire. And then it is also used to measure uh, diameter of the bulb of a pendulum because it's very small. So we use a micrometer screw gauge to measure those instruments. Now, on paper, here is the diagram of a vernier caliper. So, like the vernier caliper, the micrometer screw gauge as well has two scales. The main scale and also the vernier scale so the main scale and the vernier scale and we have we have that's some things we need to learn and take very important as well in the micrometer screw gauge now the instrument is micrometer screw gauge we need to know the smallest the smallest graduation and also
the precision accuracy okay so here we have the instruments so the instrument is micrometer square gauge then the smallest graduation for micrometer square gauge is 0 0.01 millimeter why the precision accuracy is half of the smallest graduation which you have 0 0.005 millimeter okay so that we need to know about uh, micrometer screw gauge now we have to give examples on how to read micrometer screw gauge now um, examples I have a question and the question is what is the reading on the micro meter screw gauge below now we have the diagram the micrometer here is the diagram so the reading starts here Now, this place is labeled. This is one. Two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. This place are read in fives. Five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So now that's the instrument we have meant to read it. How do we take read it, the reading of the instrument? So, solution to that. Excuse me, please. So now, um, for that, we have um, the last calibration on the main scale. This is the main scale. So the last calibration on the main scale is 7. So we write that at 7.00. Why on the vernier scale, you have... Um, this is 5, 10, 15, 20. So that is 20. Who, how? Where the line, the, where the horizontal line on the 
mean scale cases with the calibration of the vernier scale so that is where they meet that is 20 so on the vernier scale we have 0 0.20 so you had the two together and on adding you have at the seven point two zero. So that is the reading on the vernier caliper above. So I'll call it quits here for today. So we meet in our next meeting. Thank you.